Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. So on this video I'm going to be showing you guys and lasses this little fella. And this is a cheap stirrup pump for charging your PCP air rifles, stay tuned. Welcome back. So as stated, I've gone ahead and bought a stirrup pump that is used for charging our PCP air rifles and pistols. This type of stirrup pump is rated to around four and a half thousand PSI and they can run into hundreds of pounds. So I thought I'd go ahead, dive in and buy a cheaper, more budget friendly version just to see if it's any good, to see if it works. Historically, I've always gone to my local dive centre to have my Air Arms S410 charged via a diving bottle. So the, the stirrup pump itself, I bought this from onbuy.com, which I'll leave a link in the description box below for. Um, it's one of the cheapest um, high pressure stirrup pumps that I could find. And basically when this thing arrives it comes partly built so what you have to do is you have to go ahead and install the pressure gauge to the pump body manifold there you have to attach the actual hose to the outlet of the stirrup pump they're all bsp fittings and you have to attach the actual handle or handlebars to the top of the pump using these two small cap head screws. It's very easy, very basic to put together. All the fixtures and fittings seem reasonably well made and, and of good quality. The hose has a non-return valve on the end <clears throat> in red there and comes with a quick release fitting right to the end. So you can go ahead and use your attachments, plug them in disconnect them quickly um, if you've got various applications. Now in the box you get a basic tool kit which is one of these like cycle spanner multi multi size um, pressed tool spanners and a small allen key. The allen key is used to assemble the handlebars and obviously the multi sort of cycle spanner the flat spanner is used to attach the gauge and the hose. However, that being said, I would highly recommend throwing those in the bin. They are of poor quality and selecting the correct right size spanner, good quality spanner. And the same being said for the Allen key. Saves rounding the, the fittings off initially because these really are rubbish. Moving into the box, you get an instruction pamphlet which shows you how to assemble and lubricate your stirrup pump it also gives you maintenance and servicing instructions to include a full sort of schematic um, diagram of the breakdown of the guts of this pump um, you get a notes um, section there where it explains the basic installation and what to look at look look out for excuse me whilst you're actually assembling this or servicing this tool now the whilst the instructions are plenty of clear photographs pictures the actual instruction is in broken English the English translation is somewhat poor um, but it is you know you can decipher your way through it i believe this is actually made in japan so at least it's not the dreaded china inside of the box you get the quick release brass fittings and a brass plug so that <clears throat> you can go ahead and fit the plug to your quick release fitting at the end of your outlet hose to pressurize the gauge in the actual system 
um, to check for leaks, etc. And also, this will stop ingress of dirt and rubbish into your quick release fitting. You also get included <clears throat> a bag of spares to include spare O-rings, filter elements and a nylon washer there for the piston assembly which is detailed and explained in the, the instruction manual. You also get a small box which in my case as you can probably see is saturated as the oil did leak and inside of that box you get a small vial of um, silicon based lubricant oil which they recommend you use on the slide of your stirrup pump the actual um, pump part of the stirrup which at the moment I'm making a hash off there we go so you can lubricate the slide action and every so often every so many pumps which it stipulates in the manual to be you know pretty much in the thousands you can go ahead and unscrew the handle the top assembly there and put some lubricant in the actual guts of the piston um, I would recommend personally going forward get yourself a good quality gun oil silicon gun oil for this and um, look after those seals stop them perishing and going hard now the only problem I've experienced up to now with this tool or pump is <clears throat> the quick release fitting if you use the fitting that is supplied and put that into the quick release me personally I've got the air arms s410 and the charging um, connection or fitting the thread is 3 8 bsp and the thread on the supplied fitting is to be honest i don't know it's it's some way smaller than that so i've gone ahead and had to buy a it's called a best fittings attachment which is the intermediate fitting between my air arms charging fitting and the quick release nozzle supplied so I can go ahead then connect my air arms charger up, connect that to the rifle, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, pump away. That incidentally, the best fitting came supplied with a ceiling ring, the actual fitting. And in the box here, I've got the, the bag that it came in. So this little fitting is not supplied, obviously, as stated. Um, but you will need that if you're going to use <clears throat> this style of air arms connector and these little fittings are around six pounds they're widely available so whilst that's an additional cost the whole pump with everything the tools and everything that i've stated that are supplied in the box um, the actual pump was 31 pounds it is around was it six eight pounds delivery something like that and like stated the fitting the additional fitting was around six pounds but for the actual pump the stirrup pump itself we're talking around 38 pounds all in somewhere around that region so less than 40 pounds it has let's bring this in here is the feet are well made they're substantial they're not going anywhere that you stand on and they are foldable so you can store this thing away quite nicely it has a pressure relief valve there and that relief valve will discharge the pressure which is accumulated in the line when you finish charging your rifle which we'll get on to right now okay so I've got my air rifle out of its um, carry um, cover case here um, supported the end with a a sand sack a leaning rest and what we have to do is if your rifle already has a charge then the bolt can be left closed if your rifle is completely empty you need to open the bolt and the first few strokes need to be smart and um, vigorous and this is apparently to stop the internal seals of your rifle becoming dislodged mine has some charge in it i've already gone ahead and pumped my rifle the gauge underneath on the air arms there so my rifle was at, was currently at around 100 and just below 140 bar um, on the gauge. I've gone ahead and pumped this up from that pressure. 
just to prove this stirrup pump out. In the case of the air arms, you have to unscrew your end cap on the cylinder there, and that reveals the actual charging point. So what we we go ahead and do is we take our bring our stirrup pump into play here. We take our fitting and we line up the spade with that fitting like so click it in nice and firm and twist it around 90 degrees and this is so that this pressure fitting can't be blown away just a safety feature basically and then we go ahead lay our rifle down nice and securely like so now we can start the pumping process So as you can see, I've bought the, um, the stirrup pump close to the end of the rifle with it connected. We'll place our feet on both of the feet um, legs or attachments. We bring the handle to its full length of stroke and press down. Now, whilst this is, you might say a, labo a laborious task, I would say don't go too fast keep it slow full stroke therefore keeping the seals of the pump call and the seals and the chamber of your uh, PCP rifle or pistol it does get quite firm and quickly you can see the pressure reading on the gauge that last push does take some effort but bearing in mind I've already charged my rifle to around 200 bars of pressure. So hence the red face and the bit of a sweaty forehead, <laughs> being an unfit old fella. Um, I calculated around 50 pumps, took me from around 100, and, just less than 130 bars, and I'm back up in the region of 200 bars of pressure. So not too bad, bit of a workout. Bearing in mind I've just finished work um, half an hour ago I've been up since quarter to four in the morning and I'm old and fit uh, fat and unfit <laughs> however it's worked perfectly the pump has done its job the chamber on the rifle has stayed cool it's very simple to and easy to work with all I have to do now is release the pressure in the pipe using the pressure relief valve on the back of the stirrup pump little brass um, thumb screw there once I've done that I can go ahead disconnect my rifles charging point and we're ready to go again so what I would then say is I'm going to disconnect that and keep that in a plastic bag a ziplock bag which I normally keep with my rifle so I don't lose it I know where it is However, if you're going to leave this attached to your stirrup pump, I would still recommend putting a bag of some sorts over this. Every so often a small bit of lubricant in there to keep those O-rings nice and looked after, supple. And just zip lock, um, zip tie a bag onto this to keep moisture and dirt out of that charging point. You don't want any de debris moisture getting into your, into your PCP. So, sorry it's a bit of a, <coughs> excuse me, a makeshift video, but I just wanted to quickly show this cheap pump. It works well with uh, an Air Arms S410. Um, I believe it works with most of the Air Arms range within this style, so the S510, etc. Um, would I recommend it? I can't give it a recommendation because I've only used it today. <laughs> If I've owned this for a year and I've charged my rifle with it several times in the future, I will report back to you and let you know how it gets on. But up to now, I would say yes off the bat. Don't overdo it. Do it slowly and don't overheat it. Respect it for what it is. Um, give yourself and the pump time to operate. Um, keep everything clean. And I would say yes, why not? It's um, less than £40. Um, whilst my charging um, facilities at the dive centre weren't expensive 
it was just the hassle of unloading the rifle, locking the rifle, driving there, getting them to charge it, and the reverse, locking it all away, etc. And it's always nice to be able to charge your own kit inexpensively, either in the field or at home, should you ever have a situation where you're not able to access diving bottle charging or your compressor, if you have one, won't charge because there's a power outage, let's say, and you've got to hunt for whatever reason. It's nice to always have a DIY self-sufficiency way of getting things done, in my opinion. Um, on a footnote, I would always say keep your rifles locked, keep them empty of ammunition, store your ammunition separate, be responsible with air guns or any type of firearm or weapon. Um, let's keep a good reputation within our little shooting community, you might say especially over here in the UK, they're really screwing us down now and tightening up on everything, as we all know. But um, for the money, again, this was £31, plus a few quid PMP, so less than £40. Air pump, 4,500 PSI air pump, steerage pump, and it's from, um, is it on buy? It's either onbuy.com or ubuy.com. I think it's onbuy.com. I will leave the link in the description box. So yeah, go check it out if you want a cheap stirrup pump. That up to now seems well made, it's of reasonable quality, and it actually works. Thank you all very much for watching. Sorry it's been a bit of a, a Fred Hartley video, but um, I haven't got much time at the moment. So stay safe, shoot safe, have some fun. And until next time, which won't be long, Mad Dog signing off. Yeah!